you, Lord Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit. It's Monday. You were crucified on a Friday. And Monday, you walked back into Jerusalem like a suffering servant. Yesterday, you came in like a king. Today you came in to teach the word of God and to love and encourage people and to warn them that a time would come where everything would change. And yet your word says, always be happy. Never stop praying Always be happy Never stop praying Give thanks Whatever happens Give
Lord, we pray for the coldness that strikes the hearts of people after a Sunday morning. They become cold. They only think of the problems. They only think of the cares of this world. They think of the problems. Faith and prayer. Monday, Monday morning, I'm done with God today. Monday, Monday morning, I go to my social media to pray and complain. Monday, Monday morning, I don't feel the need. Remember what I heard on Sunday. So, Lord, we pray that when people wake up on a Monday morning, no matter what their employer is doing to them, their employer is not nailing them to a cross. to a cross. Help people to realize that Monday we need Jesus. Tuesday we need Jesus. Wednesday we need Jesus. Thursday we need Jesus. Friday we need Jesus. Saturday we need Jesus. Sunday we need Jesus. But only for two hours and then it's time to eat and complain like the children of Israel and we will die in the wilderness we will never go home to the promised land we will die in the wilderness we will never go home to the promised land we will never have a home again because we forgot Monday we need Jesus. We don't listen to the cares of this world. Tuesday we need you, Jesus. We will read your word and turn and be healed. every day. So Lord, we pray that everyone today and every day this week, they stop forgetting you. They stop praying. They stop reading about your story. They stop and only think of money and alcohol and drugs and sex dreams and bitter hatreds of wrongs done to them. They stop these things and they come back to you, Lord. Return to their first love and that their heart will be healed because they choose to love and be gentle, love and be kind. Everything they thought was more important than Jesus just destroys them.
on not even thinking about you in the holy week of God. Because if they won't think about you this week, they're not thinking about you at all 51 other weeks of the year. We expect every one of the ladies to think about you, to read your story in the last few chapters of each one of the Gospels, especially John chapter 14 uh, until to the end about your death and resurrection and John chapter 14 through 17, your, your last words, what Christianity is all about for you. We pray that every one of these ladies be bold, be strong, for the Lord their God is with them and tell the wonderful news of this week of how we celebrate and mourn the death of Jesus because today they would do the very same thing but not who we think are religious leaders, but us, our very self, we do the same thing to Jesus and crucify him. We do it every day when we fight and argue in the church, when we judge one another and lift ourselves up above others. We do the same thing that Jesus' disciples did. We freshly crucify Jesus follow him, to serve others, and to demand that others follow him and serve others. We bless you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, lift up and fill people with your spirit, and let it turn into character where we follow Jesus and serve others.